Okay, we're still catching up on what we've been doing in the math stream for the last few days. So a few days ago, we worked on partitions, introducing the idea of partitions, which is separating a number into parts. Uh, pause this video at any point if you want to try to understand what's going on. Basically, if you have a bunch of M&Ms, how many ways can you distribute those M&Ms? You can keep six for yourself, you can keep five, give one to a friend, you can keep four, give two to a friend, etc. Turns out that there are 11 ways to split up the number six, uh, which we can write like this. And there's some beautiful math we won't get into by Ramanujan that's about 100 years old. Uh, maybe in the future we might do it. So here I wrote out all of those ways uh, you know, using numbers instead of dots. Now, here's the big, beautiful piece of mathematics that we worked on and I tried to explain. Um, we're going to define two ideas, an odd partition and a distinct partition. Um, pause the video, see if you can try to figure out the pattern. Um, basically, an odd... Okay, you pause, you're back, great. An odd partition only has odd parts. A distinct partition has unique distinct parts. So six is distinct, five plus one is both distinct and odd, four plus two is distinct, three plus three is odd, three, two, and one is distinct, uh, and so on. Now, I said that this is beautiful. That by itself is not that cool, but the number of odd partitions equals the number of distinct partitions, which is so dang freaking cool, if you ask me. Like, why would those two ideas have anything to do with each other? The oddness of numbers being, like, the number of them matching the number where every part is distinct. Um, so this is hundreds of years old. Uh, it's known as Euler's Partitioning Theorem, I think. At least that's what I call it. Um, and then we talked about some other things that are related to that uh, that I won't get try to get into right now. But just trust me that this stuff is very beautiful if you pause the video and try to think about it a little bit. Next time we're going to talk about the Euclidean algorithm. So thanks for watching. All right, bye.